you know, one more kind of gloomy day to get through, <laughs> but you know, let's just turn our attention straight to the weekend, All shall right, we? I'm doing <laughs> well, we do have mostly cloudy skies in some portions of the area, especially south, but we do have some of those clouds moving through Topeka right now, so we've got to look at our West Topeka camera. Traffic starting to pick up on I-70 this morning and temperatures where we have those clouds were slightly warmer. Those clouds act like a little blanket for us, so feeling or we're temperatures sitting at 36 degrees in Topeka, 35 in Emporia, but we're cooler where we have clear skies overhead, so 31 degrees in Junction City, 27 in Clay Center, and 28 degrees in Marysville. And we do have a slight breeze in some spots. It's running about 5 to 10 miles per hour out of the south and east this morning, so feeling like 25 in Concordia, feels like 21 in Hiawatha, so make sure you're grabbing those heavy coats today and layer up because you can probably shed those heavier coats later on, especially if you have a long sleeve on or something. Our temperatures, though, do make it up into the 40s today for the first time in a little while, so we'll make it up into the upper 40s this afternoon. Tonight, we should drop back into the upper 30s, so we'll stay above freezing today and tonight. And that's some great news because we will have some rain in the area, so that should stay as all liquid today and tonight. Coming up for tomorrow, we'll be in those upper 40s to near 50 again, and we should have some sunshine coming up for the afternoon. Now, here's a look at our upper level flow here. So we have this uh, cutoff low pressure system really spinning off uh, New Mexico, getting ready to get into uh, Texas and then continue to push its way off to the east. We've also got Hurricane Zeta down there in the Gulf of Mexico, so this is going to continue to stream up moisture to us here in northeast Kansas, giving us that rain chance coming up later on this afternoon. And there's that closer look at Zeta as it's making its way up to the north, moving at a pretty good clip. So by the time this evening rolls around, probably making landfall tonight as a category two storm before weakening very quickly. So sustained winds right now at 85 miles per hour. That should increase slightly as we go throughout the afternoon. Here closer to home, we'll take a look at our future track to get you those rain chances for us. Best chance for rain stays south of I-70 today. It'll be a pretty sharp cutoff. So going throughout this afternoon, that's when we'll start to see our rain chances increasing after lunch, becoming likely for folks to the south of I-70 today. And it will have those rain chances slightly higher in Emporia, Burlington, Coffee and Anderson counties as well. That's where we'll see the best chance for some of that rain that exits the area early tomorrow morning. And then we'll start to see those clouds clearing out as well, giving us some sunshine as we close out the daytime on Thursday. So here's a look at what you can expect in terms of rainfall totals today. Maybe upwards of an inch in our far southern counties where that rain will be a little bit heavier at times. But like I said, a very sharp drop off. So by, by the time you get up to I-70, so folks along Junction City into Topeka, Lawrence, maybe a trace up to a quarter of an inch of rain. And then folks to the north probably won't see hardly anything at all. So once we get this chance of rain done, we should be dry for several days here in northeast Kansas. We'll have our temperatures warming up into those upper 50s on Friday. By Halloween on Saturday, we should be in the lower 60s for our highs. Probably for folks trick-or-treating, we'll have those temperatures near 50 throughout Saturday evening, and then we'll continue to drop off into the 30s. Remember, set your clocks back Saturday night into Sunday, and then we warm up and heading into Tuesday.